from the time I was a kid. The certain characters, certain things that you've seen that have an impact on you, that stay with you. And Godzilla is one of them. It's an honor to be invited by our friends and collaborators at Toho and at Legendary to play in this monster universe. There is a legacy that goes back 70 years that we want to be respectful of. So we have to honor everything and maintain consistency. And the thing that was exciting was to tell a human-scaled story on a monster-scaled stage. Chambers, deep in the bedrock. There's something down there. Oh my god, go, go, go! The movies are so grand and epic, and with a show like this, we get the luxury to explore it in 10 episodes, which means more detail, more drama. It's really exciting. Hit the gas, Doc. There's two timelines happening in this show, one in the 50s and one in the modern era, and the present-day characters discovered that they're part of this interconnected legacy. Did our dad really work for Monarch? It is your family business. It's the family curse. My son, Wyatt and I, we're playing the same person. We would go from his period of time back in the 50s to modern day. We had been asked to be in the same movie, usually as father and son, but the idea of playing the same person had an artistic element to it that drew us to it. The things I do for Monarch. Wouldn't have made it this far without you. Every time I think we're searching for dad, turns out there's some Monarch business in the way. I'm sorry everything is tangled up together. But yes, all these roads lead to one place. This crew that we follow in the present day are just as new to the world as a new viewer might be. Welcome to Monarch. Sorry. They're not scientists and superheroes. They are regular people. Everything is new and insane. Every time you go to locations in the show, it's a completely different world. We shot one at Glacier. Move! We shot in the desert. We went to Tokyo. It's just amazing. It's the most rewarding experience to be part of something this cool, this big. I feel like the show we all set out to do was going to be epic and adventurous, but all of the underlying feelings are there, too. This changes everything. The audience who loves the MonsterVerse will see a world they recognize and feel it's been honored. The new fans will watch this and go, wow, this is the story that I'm being drawn into. This is a height of entertainment. It has action and excitement, and all these monsters are pretty gnarly. <laughs> I'll say that.